it's Chelsea Monet and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you guys can see, we are going thrifting again. And just a heads up, right? Just a heads up. March, I'm not going thrifting at all. Today, I am on my way to Houston and I plan on going thrifting um, in the Woodlands area. Um, and maybe in Cyprus as well. I don't really know, but I'll let you guys know which locations before um, I actually start showing the pieces and stuff. But March, I am not thrifting at all. I won't be doing any thrift vlogs. I will be doing some styling content the whole month of March, as well as maybe even some health content. Um, I am going to try to post two videos a week. I don't really know no days. I can't commit to days because you guys know I am a mom and an entrepreneur, but I know for a fact that I may at least try to upload two videos a week. Um, just me putting together outfits, maybe even some um, like life after cancer, what am I doing when it comes to my health, how am I eating, um, things of that nature. So if you guys have any questions for that type of video or those types of videos, um, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. But one of the things that I really want to talk to you guys about when it comes to thrifting. Oh, side, side note. The reason why I am not thrifting in March is because March, as a hairstylist, one of, March is one of my busiest months. And your girl needs to save. We're going back into our saving um, little box and... Yeah, so we won't be purchasing anything. And like I told you guys in my last video, when it comes to thrifting, you cannot thrift and not purchase. You can't like window shop when it comes to thrifting. You know what I'm saying? Because when it comes to the fines and the deals, like you can't pass that up. It's not like a franchise where you'll see this again, you know? So I'm just gonna help myself in totality and just not thrift at all in the month of March but you know I think that's gonna be really good because um, <sighs> you guys have been influenced by enough people on social media you know what I'm saying and although it'll be nice to click a link and purchase something that someone else has sometimes it's time to get in your closet and mix and match with the clothes that you already have you know and that kind of goes into another video that I want to make, um, which is how to find your personal style. I feel like with social media being such a prominent thing in our lives now, a lot of people don't have personal style anymore. A lot of people are walking around looking the same, um, acting the same, having the same aesthetic. Like, you know, the whole nine is like almost like we're clones. And granted, if you guys know me, I love a good aesthetic, right? Um, but I still have my own personal style. And when I say I love a good aesthetic, really for me, it's just I, I like nice things. Um, I like, if you would have to put a label on it, I like things to look real chic and elegant and um, sophisticated in a way. And you can kind of see that from how I dress. And that just goes into another one of my points. I feel like when it comes to personal style, your style should say you, but in clothing form. It should say your characteristics and your personality, but in clothing form. And when it comes to personal style, it shouldn't need validation from no one else but you because you shouldn't be trying to make nobody else happy but you so with that being said like yes i'm not saying you can't oh ask someone oh does this look good like you can you can ask but don't let their answer um determine if you're going to walk out the house with that item or not especially if that item makes you feel confident um and so just with that being said like if an item makes you feel confident or you feel like you look good in that item or whatever don't even ask people that because sometimes you can psych yourself out just go ahead and wear it and wear it with the confidence that you have but um 
but yeah so that's another video that I definitely want to get into because like I said with social media today we all we all walking around looking the same and granted the runway will determine you can kind of determine the upcoming trends from the high fashion runway fashion shows Mo that's really how you're supposed to do it honestly um the franchises will take what they see on the runway and try to duplicate it in a most likely cheaper form um and get the trends based off the high runway fashion shows but the point is to take the pieces that you see from the fashion show and make it your own in some way you know whether you are a more of a simplistic girl you know you like uh why is this man all up in my car all, all up in my car back up um he made me lose my train of thought do not pull up on me like that what was i saying oh if you are a more simplistic girl where you like a more simple um straight to the point type of outfit or you like uh, some just juxtaposition is that what I call it? Or you like some juxtaposition where you will mix different patterns or um, different patterns or even different textures. Or if you're kind of like me, I'm kind of like in the middle, it depends on the day and how I'm feeling that day, whether I feel like being very simple, chic, and elegant, or if I feel like doing the most and being very extra. Um, and most of the time with myself, I'll like have a simple outfit on, but then have like one or two statement pieces that I really want to stand out. I feel like that's like a great balance for myself. I don't like wearing multiple statement pieces in one outfit, you know, because to me, it just feels like you're doing a lot. But I do love having exchangeable pieces. And so... I, when I shop, I, like I tell you guys all the time, it's great to shop consciously. And to do that, you have to know your closet. So this is the perfect time for you guys to get in your closet, purge, um, and to find out what you really have in that closet. What items make you excited? What items make you excited to wear or it makes your heart skip a beat, you know? Um, and then the ones that you haven't worn in like a year, get rid of them um just be because just like hair like when you trim your ends hair holds energy so does clothes and so um with the purging it'll allow you to know as well what's in your closet so you know okay if i like this outfit uniform or if i like this type of yeah let's go with outfit uniform i need these pieces to complete this uniform you know and it'll just make it a lot easier like when you're shopping and stuff so yeah that is my tip of the day as we are on our way to goodwill y'all know i love me i love me some goodwill i love me some goodwill and honestly i think some people would be shocked that i even shop at goodwill sometimes when i tell them that i thrift they be like what you thrift i'm like yes I do very much do like like I said before I like nice things but I like my coin in my pocket as well so hmm. like I said we're not living beyond our means very much means okay also I definitely will be doing a um, beginners thrifting video like how to how to thrift if you are a beginner um, and I'll probably feature my husband in that one because he's technically still a beginner. Um, so if I, if that does go up in March, that'll be shopping for him, not shopping for me. So that's going to be him spending his money, not my money. But I think that would be a really good video. But you guys also let me know some of the things that you guys would like to see from me as well. So that way I can have a good balance. But I do have a couple of videos up my sleeve. And I'm really enjoying building this community with you guys. So. Okay guys. So on this day I started off in the home decor side. And although I didn't need any home decor this day. Um, this Goodwill had some pretty good couches. Like that cream couch. 
it was in pretty good condition this brown and this yellow as well then i went over to the pajama section and i found this beautiful cheetah two-piece but it was a 2xl so i didn't get it but it was only three dollars and this is what i love i love a good two-piece set for a cheap price you could obviously tell it was brand new and you can't beat it now i don't know if they got a new shipment in from a old store but here is another two-piece set in the size extra large um and it was a really pretty emerald green then I also saw another two-piece set in an extra large as well, which is why I felt like maybe they got an old shipment in from a store that didn't sell. And they were all $3. So whoever like pajamas from the thrift store that's in an extra large, they finna hit the jackpot because I found at least a good four or five sets in that size um, that were pretty practically brand new. Then I saw this Ralph Lauren sweater. I like the fact that it was Ralph Lauren, but it was actually kind of dingy. And I was wishing that it would have been navy blue instead of black. But the camera wasn't really picking up the color that well. But it was $5.99, but I ended up leaving her there. I also found this shirt that I think would be pretty for the spring. A part of me want to do some type of DIY with it. Because I don't just want to wear it like this. But I really like it for the spring. To add some color to my wardrobe. And it's $5.99. I don't know. I might keep my hands on that one. And then look at this hot pink. This hot pink button down. So gorgeous. It says 100% silk. And it is $5.99. That can be tied up like so many different ways. I might have to hold on to that too. So guys, I found this really pretty corduroy tan double-breasted J. Crew jacket. It's really pretty, and I've actually been looking for an item with this same fabric and color because I really want to make a backpack out of it, DIY a backpack, and add some denim to it. But I think this jacket is way too pretty to cut up. And it's a trench coat, it's a medium. I feel like I should at least try it on. It is $20 though. Honestly, my coat collection, I don't really need any more coats because it don't get that cold in Texas, but it's really pretty. Okay, this shirt is very unique. A part of me like it because it has a lot going on, but then the flowers is just like, mm, I don't know. This is $5.99. Then I also saw where is it? Oh this throwback Coogee shirt. <laughs> Not the Koji. That is too funny with the wings. That is too funny. So guys, I'm kind of sad because I've only been in here for about 10 minutes and the store is closing in 13 minutes. But this Goodwill had hats. If you guys don't know, I love fedoras, but I don't like the way it fits on my head. So I'm at the pass. She was $6.99. I need to hurry up and show you guys what I have so I can get up out of here. Guys, I also found these linen shorts with these pleats for $4.99, but they are 36 waist, and I'm like a 32, 34. So they are a little too big. I could take them in, but I don't think I will. Oh, these are some white ones. These are large. They got some yellow stains on them, though. I don't want to fight to get that out. I just want to wash it regularly. Mm. We gotta hurry up and get up out of here. So sad I didn't get to look how I want to. What is this? Yeah. Unfortunately, their bag collection was horrible as well. Let me just pass right here, see if anything catches the eye. 
I really want it to look hard, but maybe I'll thrift some more tomorrow. Attention Goodwill customers, the store will close in three minutes. Please make your final selections and make your- Okay, y'all, so I gotta hurry up before they close. These are the things I put my hands on. I love these like pajama tops, but I can wear these as a dress. They're $2.99. I got one in mauve and one in black and white. Right? Cool. Um, I got this sweatshirt that I feel like I can crop and wear with trousers. I got this cardigan. It is a stain on it, but it's $5.99 that would be really cute with some denim. I got this pink button down shirt I showed y'all earlier. I also showed you guys this tan trench. It's from J. Crew. She's $20. I got this Joseph Abode shirt for my husband, really. For $5.99. This Gap shirt for my husband too. He said he wanted a flannel, but that one's an extra small. Then I saw these H&M pants, trousers, and these are $4.99 for extra large, AKA a 33 in a waist. So, I'm sad because, I'm sad because I really didn't get to look how I wanted to. All right, y'all, so I am so sad because I really did not get to thrift today. I'm just, the stuff was not aligning. Um, and I only had like 30 minutes in the store. And that's rule number one of thrifting is thrift when you have time. But honestly, I did not drive a whole hour and 15 minutes to the woodland to not at least see what one of their stores had and just that quick i saw a couple of things i like and i feel like i would have found more things that i like if i would have got to look very much look how i usually do i was really um determined to see what the people in the woodlands have because if you guys don't know the woodlands is a very high-end area and i have been in search for a high-end vintage bag but like when I go to the Goodwill in the Galleria area, they have authentic bags and Goodwill bags, small of the goods, all of the above, but they have them separated from everything else. So they're already marked at a higher price than what they really should be. Um, and I don't like that. All right, y'all, so it's the next day. Your girl's about to go to brunch and we're gonna try this thrifting thing one more time while I'm in Houston. Um, I am going to go to a Goodwill in Cyprus. I am so disappointed about not being able to actually shop in the Woodlands because I know they had some good stuff, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see what we find today. All right, y'all. So this Goodwill is actually always packed, um, but they do be having some good finds. I did find my velvet gray blazer over here. I'll insert a picture on how I styled it. Um, but once again, I don't have much time, but I still want to see what they got in here. They don't be as organized, but right now I'm shopping for spring and I'm looking for any like skirts, trousers, shorts, um, any statement shirts like what I have on to wear just like freely. Um, I do want a blazer that I can like cut the sleeves off. So we'll see what I find. Okay y'all, so the first thing that caught my eye was the smaller the goods. And I really had loved this Coach wallet, the one that was on the top shelf. When I was on the second shelf, it was okay. They even had this pretty pink vase. Really, really cute, but I didn't have anywhere to put it, and it was only $7.99. Then I also saw this really pretty hot pink skirt, but it was extra small. I thought about trying her on, but the fact that it was too small, I knew it wouldn't fit my waist. Okay, guys, check out this leather jacket. I love the collar. It is... 
Wilson leather. King Partner tag. But it is 100%. But look at this price. This is the part that's pissing me off about the thrift stores. I feel like they're increasing their pricing on everything. Like all of these are leather jackets. Well, this one is a trench coat, but most of these are leather jackets and they're all $40. $40 and $50. Blazers are $30. Like I used to be able to get a blazer for $20 or less and even $20 was a stretch. I don't like these price changes. This is another beautiful coat. It feels like it's suede material or maybe like a faux suede. It's really gorgeous. I love this color. It's a large, but it's $24. And then I also found this one. Y'all know I love any type of tweed that's given Hillary Banks. I love it. It's $20. And then I also found this fur. Look at this fur. I love these types of furs that just drape over your shoulders. Oh, I guess it's unraveling in the inside. You could probably clean that up a little bit though. But this is a really pretty fur. I don't know if it's real or it's faux fur. Oh, baby, no. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Y'all know I thrifted one like this for $15. It's gray. Y'all, this is getting insane. Like, for real, for real. Mm -mm. I even like this cardigan. Thinking about pairing it with some navy trousers or trouser shorts. But I wanted a cardigan with some buttons on it. But this one is $13.99, which is not bad. But it's almost springtime. So... But it, the smart thing is this shop, you know, out of season. So you can get things at a discounted rate, but it's not discounted. Trench coat. These will fit really good. You guys definitely check the going back rack. This is a going back rack, and look at this beautiful skirt I found, which is gorgeous because I have a navy blue blazer that I can pair with it. Super cute. Then I went over to the women's pants and found these red leather pants. They were really, really pretty, but they were $24.99. I honestly was upset because I found so many expensive things in here. Even this beautiful, beautiful plaid blazer, and I love the blue detail in it. But literally everything was either $30. This was $15. That's not too bad. But those pants being $24 and $40, like it was getting ridiculous. But I also found these Adidas windbreakers, but I couldn't find the matching top, so I left it there. I love this vintage coach bag. It was a shoulder bag, but I'm really not a shoulder bag type of girl. So I ended up leaving that one there, but I was super excited whenever I found it because, as I was stating earlier in the video, that I really wanted to find a vintage high-end bag for a thrift store price and twenty dollars is a pretty good thrift store price whenever it comes to a high-end bag i also found this black bag right here it was perfect for a diy that i want to do i want to add some fur to it in the front and it was only 12.99 so this bag would be perfect for that then i found this vintage fossil bag for 15 dollars as well this one was a little beat up. I found this Nina Marcus bag. I didn't even know Nina Marcus made handbags. But this one was in really good condition for only $13. It was a pretty big bag, though. Then I found this beautiful champion backpack. I'm not a champion. Well, I'm not a backpack girly. But that was a beautiful color. And you could easily dress that up and down. I saw this really pretty cheetah purse. This one was $40. And then this very unique, like, blue and red, like, lady type of purse. If you guys didn't notice, the red part is, like, a lady in the black parts. It's her lips and her hair. I thought that bag was really unique and fun. Then I also saw, excuse my ashy hands, y'all. 
I also saw this Steve Madden backpack as well. Now, this one is more my vibe. But like I stated before, I'm not really a backpack girl. So I ended up leaving that there too. But this was in really good condition. I was really toying, trying to figure out if did I want it or not. Then um, I saw this um, Burberry like inspired bag. It wasn't real Burberry. But this was a real Kate Spade tote bag. And she actually was pretty clean. Nothing a good wash in the washing machine wouldn't wouldn't do for her but she was twenty four ninety nine. but she was a cute little moment especially like for a vacation or something like that or if you need like a work bag or a computer bag then I saw this little makeup bag that is like all over the internet on Amazon on Shein um I saw this really pretty crocodile orange crossbody as you guys can see today was definitely the day for handbags okay this was a vintage fossil bag, and I think this one was a was fourteen ninety nine. When I tell y'all, I hit the jackpot this day on bags. Even to the right hand side of this bag, I saw like a Givenchy inspired bag. Um, this one right here. It, this one was Giv Givenchy inspired, and this one was twenty dollars too. And I say inspired because of the shape, but it had no logo on it, and I love that. This one had gold interior, and essentially it was a Forever 21 bag, but she was really beautiful. I was really trying to figure out, did I want her or not as well? Then, y'all, this was my favorite vintage coach bag that I found. She was $25, and even on the hardware, it had made in 1980 or 1941, established in 1941. And I found this one as well as a brown one. And I'm really kind of upset because I ended up purchasing the brown one. But now that I think back, I should have gotten the black one because I probably will get more use out of the brown one. This is the brown one I got. And this one was $15. But when I went back to exchange it, because I'm like, well, let me go ahead and get the black because I wear black more often and I'll get more use out of the black. They did not let me exchange it. They said they can only do exchanges on clothes and not handbags. So that kind of upset me. But I was like, you know what? Whatever. Then I ended up getting them both. <laughs> but I also found these navy trousers. Of course, you guys know I'm a trouser girl. And these are Banana Republic. And they were only $4.99. And then I got... um some other trousers and then these peach trousers i had to try them on though because y'all know i'm not i'm not buying any bottoms without trying them on first of course you guys seen this beautiful skirt and i really love this skirt i know i can't fit it but i'm like maybe i can turn it into a purse and then i had loved this blazer because as i said before i want to take a blazer and like cut off the sleeves as well as this tan like suede like jacket now, I want to use this to cut up, but I don't know if I want to cut some up that's $10. I'd rather it be like half off. And although I couldn't find the top, I had really liked these pants, especially for only $7. But ultimately, this was a good trip. Okay, y'all. So, as y'all can see, that Goodwill, Cypress, Fairfield area Goodwill, had all the things in there today. Okay. And they had, I found three vintage coach bags. I found two Kate Spade. I, I found a Nina Marcus bag. I mean, y'all saw, y'all saw the, the tea. Y'all saw the material, you know, all authentic. They had serial numbers, they had tags, they had all the things. And I definitely had to get me a vintage coach bag. They had a shoulder bag and three cross bodies. And I'm super excited because that was something that I was definitely looking for for a long time and I wanted it at a real thrift store price okay I bought it for $15 not 50 not 70 not 80 I don't know what's going on with the thrift store right now but I think they're getting hip to people you know actually knowing and knowing about thrifting now because the prices is getting insane like in the beginning whenever I first started looking at the jackets and stuff the leather jackets mind you it's very much 81 degrees outside right now so honestly to me outerwear and jackets should be on sale but because it's going out of season essentially 
so it should be on sale but everything was like 40 50 dollars Blazers thirty dollars, like, and that is very expensive, even for genuine leather, for the thrift store. Um, so that was pissing me off. But I got really excited whenever I started looking at the handbags, because usually, y'all, they handbags just suck at this location. So I was really surprised. Then I saw two potential bags, black bags. If you guys don't know, um, I've been looking for. A really nice leather black bag that I want to add some fur to um, that I want to do a DIY to and that's another thing that I'm going to include in the month of March is I'm gonna be giving you guys more thrift flips and DIYs um, so yeah so I want a black bag to add some fur to but I need to make sure that the leather part is um, good quality or at least something that I can clean up really easily and then one thing about me is I love a good structured bag, so I, it can't be a floppy one. Initially, I wanted it to be a crossbody, but even if it's not a crossbody, I think I can always make it a crossbody by me like adding a black belt or something like that as the strap. Give it a little personality and a little, you know? Um, I also have really been wanting to DIY a backpack with tan corduroy or tan suede and denim. Um, either a backpack or a purse. And that, that one would probably end up being a crossbody as well because I want the pockets. Like I wanna use a front pocket and a back pocket and make it functional. Um, and so yeah, so that's another DIY that I wanna create as well. But when I buy my pieces for my DIYs, I want them I want to pay little to nothing for them. I want to pay like two dollars for the denim, for the jeans, and then two dollars for the shirt. You know, I don't want to pay fifteen dollars for jeans or a blazer, and then I'm cutting it up. So I did find some potential pieces that I can use for all of my DIYs, and um, so I, I think I'm gonna go back and get them. But right now I'm late. Me, my friend Carrington, if you watch this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This was the traffic that I was in. <laughs> but look. <laughs> I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> um, but ultimately I feel like this was another good thrift trip, you guys. I'm able to check a lot of things off of my thrift list. And I'm gonna go ahead and post that right here. But I'm really excited and now I have a lot of pieces for the DIYs coming so subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet um, leave a comment down below which one which one of the pieces were your favorite find that I found um, oh as well as I want to know do you guys want me to start doing like thrift boxes because sometimes I'll be finding stuff that's like cute stuff that's like not in my size but it will be like either a 2X or extra small or small. And I can do like style boxes where I'll style a whole outfit in a different size if you guys are open to purchasing um, the items and stuff like that. Let me know how y'all feel about that because some stuff just be too good to pass up, you know? Too good to pass up. And if I have a vision for it, it's real easy. To put an outfit together like real quick and simple so also follow me on instagram if you guys would like to see how i style my pieces youtube is where i vlog and y'all watch me find the pieces and instagram is where y'all gonna see me style the pieces so we're not having the same type of content over there it's different content i don't know if that bothers y'all but i know it bothers me whenever you know people be like follow me on all my socials and all the content is the same on all the socials so what's the point of me following you on all the socials so we're not doing it like that um yeah we're finding the pieces here on youtube and then we're styling the pieces over there on instagram so follow me on instagram and tiktok and with that being said i will see you guys in my next video bye